what I want to do right now, but I will update you guys if anything else happens. Right now, I'm just walking. And. Oh. Ciao. Hi. Ciao. I'm from Zoran. From where? This guy, he's driving. And he does this out the window, looks at me, and I just keep walking. I was so shocked. I was like. Got my lemonade slushy. Mmm. I might have to get a second one. Okay, so I got the margarita pizza. The view is so nice. So many lemon trees everywhere. That's so nice. And the view is so nice. Wow, this is so nice. And then let me show you guys. People are still wearing the jerseys. Oh, hi. Oh, there's like a choo choo train. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. So this restaurant matches perfectly what I'm wearing. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Christina Renee. So today I am in Sorrento, Italy, and I'm so, so excited. Um, I actually got here um, a couple hours ago, so I'll insert the footage of when I first got in and what the room looks like and my traveling here. I'll show you guys because I took like a coach bus, like they have like these um, professional like shuttle buses that go like everywhere around Italy so I just took that from Rome to Sorrento Italy so I'll insert all that footage here I remember everything and it's so pretty like I remember all this I love it so much already so many lemon trees everywhere like on the bus I took a coach bus from Rome and there's so many lemon trees like that I've seen like I've never seen so many lemon trees in my life more lemon trees guys more lemons okay guys so I just got to place I'm staying and it's so nice like this is the bed I actually think this might be the, my favorite place I've ever stayed actually because I just really like the interior don't mind how I look wait for the glow up um and then this has like seashells and 
it's actually really cute like it's quite cute actually like i feel like if i had a house i would want it to look like similar to this interior and like yeah i love this mirror by the way it's so cute and um the bathroom it's just a sliding door like just open it and um this is the bathroom i really like the arch like guys when i say like this might be my favorite place like it feels like i could just i don't know really relax and unwind like i would i could live here and be perfectly fine like it's very nice um yeah and then i'm gonna see the view because there's a lot of lemon trees actually like there's a garden like the man who hosts this area who's the manager he um has a garden of lemon trees so that's the view in the bathroom then i will show you guys wow this is so nice and then let me show you guys the view okay i gotta get that bug out i gotta get that bug out because there's a bug oh my gosh um i'll show you guys this view um okay so it's like this type of opening you have to pull it like that okay one second okay so this is the view right here it's very nice i can see i think someone else lives over there so there's like cactus plants and stuff so that's that view and guys also i just opened the bed covers and look how pretty this like quilt is because it's a blanket there's like um a lime green like um a uh, sheet under it but it's really pretty i really like this so nice but yeah right now it's about 3 p.m and so i really love this place it's actually an airbnb that i am renting for a while so i'm really happy i'm staying here actually for four days four days i think yeah four days so i'm very excited today is my first day here in sorrento italy and i actually redid this whole trip because i did i did this sorrento trip last year but I didn't stay in this exact place. I went with like four other friends that I knew and we did, um, we went to the Capri Island from Sorrento. So I'm doing that tour again. And I'm also going to the Amalfi Coast during this trip. So definitely stay tuned to the vlogs. But today I'm just going to the beach and I'm going to a restaurant that's actually on the beach. Um, so it's actually another resort that's close by to me. It's like a few minutes walking distance so i'm gonna just walk there but i found this resort and i was like okay i need to go there and go to their restaurant so yeah i have this beautiful dress on i really like this dress um yeah i just feel like it gives me the lemon vibes like i saw so many lemons on my way here so i feel like i don't know i don't know why it makes me feel like i'm in sorrento but it really does and it's like i don't know i really like my dress and yeah i'm just wearing these earrings um yeah, I love these earrings. I wear them a decent amount of time. Like, it depends on my mood. But yeah, I'm about to leave now because I really need to eat something. All I had was like leftover pizza that I got from the airport yesterday because yesterday I got back from Croatia. So definitely watch those vlogs as well. But yeah, I'm about to leave out now. Okay, guys. So I'm about to head out now and explore. So I'm going to turn off the light. Um, okay. And yeah, we're heading out. Also, it's a really pretty view. Um, there's a balcony I can go outside of. I just have to figure out how to get this door. Like that. Look at how pretty. Look at how pretty the balcony is. Oh my gosh, my feet are burning. I didn't put my shoes on, my shoes are downstairs, but there's tons of like cactuses, cacti, palm trees, and then there's more sitting areas, and then the owner of this Airbnb, he has like lemons, so he like plants that, he has a beautiful garden, um, then you can see the views of Sorrento, Italy up there, like the mountains, it's tons of plants. It's just really pretty and I think there's an upper balcony like that's where the steps lead up to. I feel like this feels so much like Sorrento and you know I am in Sorrento but this really feels like it when I see like the lemons and everything so I love that I'm staying in a 
um, place that has a lemon garden that I can just look at and observe and it's so peaceful here like literally earlier when I got to my um this place I was like I don't even know if I really feel like leaving right now because I didn't feel like leaving to get food because I was just so comfortable and relaxed like this vacation already is going to hit different like I mean I have a tour tomorrow but it's like already the vacation is hitting different like it's checking the boxes of what a vacation should check like you know having good scenery relaxation good views like you know and comfortability like this is a great vacation honestly and also this is my last vacation before I go back to work for an internship this summer so you know what this is giving the vibes this is serving the purpose as my last vacation before I have to go work for the whole summer so yeah but this is so peaceful out here there's also another balcony that I can go on to but there's like a sitting area but my feet are literally hurting so I don't want to go outside because of the sun, but it's very nice as well out here. It's so pretty though. Also, I like the neighborhood I'm in because um, I'm actually like a five minute walk from every single thing that I need to do. Like I'm in the heart of Sorrento. So like where all the Zora stuff is, I'm like there. Um, like even tomorrow, the meeting point for my tour is five minutes away from where I'm already staying. And then this beach that I'm going to right now that has a restaurant, um, it's literally four minutes away. So everything's walkable. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still getting over a cold. I don't know. I've been getting over it for a week. It's gotten better though. Um, but yeah, everything's a walkable distance from me. Oh my gosh, guys. If you guys saw my Mykonos vlogs, you guys know that this is reminding you of and me of Mykonos because when I went to Mykonos, Greece, my hotel, like I had to go through a way like this to um, to basically get to places. So this is reminding me of that. Um, so yeah. The only thing is that cars also go this way and it is pretty narrow so I just pray they always see me when I'm walking down this road so that way they don't just hit me you know <laughs> that wouldn't be good that would not be good at all but yeah I love seeing these lemon trees like look at how pretty they are so pretty I really like Sorrento because Sorrento is very different from other parts of Italy. Like it's definitely more like vacation, like vacation vibes. Like you can literally vacation here with no problem. It's very nice. That's why I like Sorrento compared to like, um, well actually every city is different. So it's like too different to compare. I do like Sorrento like a lot because of that reason. That's why I decided to come here again. And literally, so many lemons like I love it I have to eat like a lot of lemon like foods this time around because last time I didn't some more lemons over there because I can see like the protective barrier so that way no other lemons can get outside of the farm or I don't even know garden they actually garden out farm so oh I like this you can like see Oh, I thought there would be lemons down there. This is a nice walk though. I like this walk. So actually I think it is for lemons because I see lemons down there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's definitely some lemons down there. And the beach should be right up ahead. So yeah, more lemons. I've literally never seen so many lemons or lemon trees in my life. So that's why I like Sorrento. I love lemon water like I haven't made it in a long time because I've been traveling so much but like when I was like staying like home or whatever and I just was cooking for myself every day I used to make lemon water a lot for like breakfast well with breakfast and it was really good like I need to get back into that because now I'm seeing all these lemons and it's making me want some lemons or lemon water so yep I should be here any minute, any second.
Okay guys, so that detour that I took just now, I didn't actually have to take because Apple Maps was leading me the wrong way and I don't know why, but they said I had arrived and I was standing like at that garden you guys just saw like where the lemons were. So I'm using Google Maps right now and it's actually taking me the proper way. So I find that hmm, Apple Maps works sometimes, but Google Maps always usually works for areas in Europe where there's like more so alleys and things like that because um, that happened to me, I think it was yesterday actually. Was it? Ye yeah, yesterday when I was in Croatia, I was trying to go somewhere and there were alleys and Apple Maps didn't know that there were alleys that I couldn't walk like through or past or whatever so yeah that's just really something weird that I've noticed but yeah I'm on the right path now I'm actually 18 minutes away which still isn't bad for walking it's like a four minute drive though but I figured since it still is light out why not walk you know so I'm walking now to the beach and I'm excited very happy like I love walking in places because I feel more into the town. And a four minute Uber ride is, ooh, these, these flowers are so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. Um, but basically a four minute Uber ride is really quick, yes. But I kind of want to sightsee. I want to sightsee and see everything um, in Sorrento and also want to show you guys as well what I'm seeing so it's better for me to just walk this so yeah and it's really easy a really easy walk like a straight shot so I'm good and this is what the city of Sorrento looks like Almost tripped, but you guys didn't see that. There's a gas station. Nice. More palm trees. They also have orange trees here as well. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah, now you can see there's orange trees. So very nice. Guys, ah, people are always, well, guy was just trying to hit on me just now, which means flirt. And this is why, you know, whenever you're in a city, it's gonna happen. Ah, I should be used to it, but unfortunately, I it makes me a little uncomfortable. But, he just kept walking. He didn't do anything, he just kept walking. Because I just ignored him and kept walking. But, it's one thing to be aware of when you're walking in a city, is that, yeah, that might happen. But, look at all the orange trees. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of Athens, Greece. Go watch that vlog if you haven't already, but when I went to Athens, there was literally a lineup just like that with orange trees. I also feel like, I'm like, really standing out like a sore thumb because I'm wearing like a really nice dress and I look like I'm on vacation right now and no one's wearing like vacation outfits right now actually I see more people wearing like winter jackets here and it's it's actually 70 degrees but I guess because it's not officially summertime people are not wearing well people are still wearing the jackets oh hi yeah, there's a lot of friendly people here today in Sorrento, which is nice, but yeah, look at all these palm trees. So many palm trees, but I think there's still more palm trees in Croatia. Go watch that vlog too. I feel like this is constant advertisement for my other vlogs because everything, it's all connected. Like when I went to Croatia, um, there were so many palm trees, like even more than this. Like everywhere, palm trees, palm trees, palm trees. So it's nice to see palm trees. Um, and there's more up here actually. This is the area up here where I said I remember Sorrento. 
um, down there. Yep, I remember this area of Sorrento because I was here literally last year, like almost a year ago. And it was so much fun. Guys, I'm feeling so uncomfortable right now. This guy, I wish I could have caught it. Well, actually, I don't wish I could have caught it on camera. This guy, he's driving. And he does this out the window, looks at me, and I just keep walking. I was so shocked. I was like, I was just like, oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on today. But I don't know if I have, have I walked outside much often? Because I'm not used to it. What I was saying is my camera cut off, but what I was saying is this never happened to me when I was traveling with other people uh, last year. And actually, did I? Well, yeah, last year when I came to Sorrento, this never happened. So I'm thinking it's because I'm by myself walking. But, you know, I'm studying abroad in Rome, so I'm trying to see as many places as possible. So, yeah, my friends, I'm doing more trips with them when I get back to the States. Um, look at the palm trees, the view. So nice. And I remember this area, aw, this is so cute. I actually remember everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so surprised right now. And I didn't even, well I did vlog it last time, but I, those vlogs got lost. That's why I'm also glad I'm back so I can get the vlogs back, get the footage back. But look at the palm trees. There's like lamps, it's like a fountain, like a starfish. And there's flowers, flowers. So pretty. Also, the last time I was here, I got gelato from a place that was down in that direction. And down here are where all like the shopping is. There's tons of restaurants down here, and I believe this is where I'm supposed to be headed. Um, my Google Maps, for some reason, is like slowing down, or like the compass is stuck. I don't know how to get it unstuck. Oh, there's like a choo-choo train. That's just like a tourist bus. Um, oh, there's like a burger bar over there, which is super cool. I've never seen a burger bar before, or at least I haven't heard of one that's called that. And yeah, so these are like the shops I was talking about. If you guys can see it, those are like shops. I remember passing by those. Oh, they have like waffles, donuts, croissants. Oh, nice. I might have to come back here. And then it's like a salon. I'm gonna to need to come back to this place that has gelato yogurt and bubble tea, so I'm gonna to have to come back. It looks good. Now I will say this area reminds me of an area back home. Oh, this looks like a Sephora, but it's called Wycom. Okay, cool. But guys, I don't know why, but I'm still kind of shocked. Still kind of shocked. Three different men, three different men trying to flirt with me within a matter of 10 minutes or less. Oh, at least now I'm in a more populated area. So it's more safe, more safe vibes. Okay, so I see people on the opposite side of the street wearing swimsuits, so I know I'm headed in the right direction. What is going on? Guys, I actually have a tote that says Sorrento from when I was here last time. Um, but I'm so happy to be back. And actually, I'm kind of sad that like I only have four days here in Sorrento. I don't know what just happened. Okay. I, I only have four days here in Sorrento. So, um, kind of sad about that because I wish I had more days here. But I can't because I have schoolwork to do, so... Yeah, I actually have final exams all on the same day, like all four exams on the same day. So when I get back to where um, my school is, I actually have a lot of homework and final exams to do. But right now I'm enjoying my vacation in Sorrento, Italy. Like what? I'm back. I'm back, guys. I'm here. I'm alive and well in Sorrento, Italy. I remember this square too. So cool. So nice. I love all the flowers. I love it. Sorrento, Italy. 
Also, I went inside of here before. I think, I'm not sure what this is because last time me and my friends, we just walked like a little bit, like halfway inside. We didn't actually go all the way down, but it looks like it might be, okay, so it's a hotel and I think it might have a restaurant. Yeah, it has a seafront restaurant. Okay, I might have to go here for dinner, maybe tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to keep this in mind. Okay guys, so I think this is the restaurant that I was just talking about just now. I think that's the restaurant because it like has the seafront view. So yeah, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. It looks good. And then look at all the flags. Look at this view guys. Looks so nice. It's actually more crowded in Sorrento than I thought it would be because most of the places that I've been to so far, it's always not peak season. Like Croatia, Mykonos, Greece, like it's not peak season. So I thought like when I went to Sorrento, it wasn't gonna be really that crowded, but it seems like there's quite a bit of people here. So I'm not sure if these are all tourists or just people who live here, but it's actually quite lively out here. Um, so I think I make a right up here and I'm five minutes away actually. So that walk was actually really, really quick. A really nice walk actually. Look at how nice. So many motorcycles too. Honestly, I feel like this might be just as crowded as it was when I visited. And I visited during peak season. I don't know what this is doing, just gonna walk. Um, but yeah, I visited in like August, I wanna say. August or September. And yeah, ooh, that outfit is really, really nice. I like that outfit. It's like a silk outfit. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at the shops. So many restaurants. I actually have a restaurant that I already have to go to. Well, oh, there's so many like Michelin restaurants. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This one is also a Michelin restaurant. But then again, it makes sense because I'm in Italy and Italy has good food, like just in general. Um, but I have a restaurant that I have to go back to because literally I went there two times in a row, my last trip, my last vacation to Sorrento. And it was so good, so I was like, I have to go back there again. It's so good. And, um, yeah. I love these arches. They, I'm sure they probably light up at night. These arches. Because it has, like, lights on them. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they have, like, lights on it. Um, but there's so many arches. Um, ooh, I don't think I've been in this area before. This area is nice. I may have walked through it and forgot it. Really nice. This restaurant matches perfectly what I'm wearing. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. I feel like I I would love to eat there just so I can take a picture with the tablecloth to show that not only am I in Sorrento, but I'm passing the vibe check. I'm fitting in with the vibes. Um, there's so much white in the store. Oh my gosh. Look at this. There's so much white. Look. Um, yeah, I feel like this is this is a good thing. The fact that I'm actually, you know, my clothing matches the tablecloth. That makes me happy. Another chair that's similar to my dress. How cute is that? Guys, look at this beautiful painting. It's actually a part of the gallery. Nice. So pretty. And I kind of do remember this area now that I'm continuing to walk it. I have not actually gone through here, actually, now that I think about it, because this is a hotel, and I would have remembered this hotel. I would have remembered this view. So I haven't gone this way, actually. But I am two minutes away from the beach. So, I'm excited. This is a nice view. Look at how pretty. So nice. 
Oh, I kind of want a lemon slushy. But look, I think this is just the entrance to the view. But actually, no, this is the restaurant, I believe. But I'm going to show you guys the view. Oh, almost tripped. No one saw that. Okay, the beach is actually down here. So I have to go all the way down these steps to get to the beach. But look at this view. That's so nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I came here. This is such a nice beach, I can already tell. Look at how pretty. And the view is so nice. The water is so pretty here. And then you see the mountains as well. It's so pretty. Okay guys, so I'm walking down now. And um, this beach is called Mary Maramio. So I'll show you guys a picture of it. Or I'll show you guys once I get there how to spell it. But um, this beach, you do have to pay to get in, of course. but Because it's like, I don't know, how do you describe it? Oops, sorry. Um, but basically, yeah, you do have to pay to get in. But you get like service, you're like service. It's like the beach club, you get service, you get towel. So yeah, it's nice. I like that because it's like, it makes me feel like I'm on vacation, which I am. So it's nice. So I can't wait to get in because I just want to relax. And I could have gone to um, a regular beach, but these are just so much more fun. Cause like, look, it's like everything. It's, it's literally like everything in one. And that's why I was saying earlier, I think this, okay. But yeah, I think this is actually a part of a resort. So it only makes sense. So, yeah, there's so many steps. I'm gonna like hate walking back up this. <laughs> like, so many steps. But at least the view is nice. Just means I have to be careful when I'm walking down this in my flip flops. The view is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I haven't even fully gotten down yet. There's still more to go. But the view is so nice. I'm closer than I was before. So I can see the restaurant is that way, so I'm in the right direction. Perfect. So nice. Um, this is like the entrances, so if you guys want to know the prices, that's how much it is. And this is what the restaurant is called. I mean, the beach club. It's called Beach Club Sorrento by Arabia. Beach and restaurant. So, very excited to come in. Okay, so I'm headed. Okay, I keep trying to figure out what's on my camera. Okay, then let's go down steps to the beach restaurant. Such nice views. So nice. I'm trying to figure out where I want to sit. I think I might sit right here. Take a view. Hello. Hello, how are you? Mm -hmm. So, this is a view I have. Super nice. Okay, so this is the menu. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, this is the menu. They have tons of nice things like seafood. So I'm very excited to try it. I don't know if I want pasta or not or if I want like seafood. I have to figure out what I want, honestly. Okay guys, so I got my lemonade slushy. So excited to try it because of all the lemons that I see. Like the lemon gardens I see. And also I had to put my purse right there because my napkins were about to fly away. It's a pretty windy day. And I feel like I'm going to get a tan today because I'm sitting like right in the sun actually. Don't know how I feel about that right now just because I keep like <laughs> everywhere I go like I never wear sunscreens. Yeah, I'm excited to try my slushy. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. I might have to get a second one. It's that good. That is the best slushy I've ever had. It's so, so good. Like that's a favorite flavor now. That's my favorite flavor at this point. Besides that time I went to the Blue Lagoon, I had that blue slushy, if you guys remember, that was really good too. But this one might be slightly better, I don't know. Lemon, that hits different. I have to learn how to make that once I get back to the States. <laughs> Okay, so I got the margarita pizza because apparently the main chef is not there. And the chef that was in the kitchen, the, um, the waiter told me he can't make anything besides pizza. And then I think tomato sauce ravioli. So I couldn't get any of the like seafood that I wanted. 
but I got this and you know I'm fine with this it's just I did have this exact pizza yesterday at the airport but it's fine um, I have my slushies so I'm good the sun is starting to set now I've been here for a long time actually it's not 8 p.m. but it's about to be 7 it's so pretty Guys, I literally paid for an elevator ticket to take me to the top. Okay. Because I thought it was free at first, but it wasn't. I could have still walked and just left, but I was like, why not? A little tired. Um, I don't know what I want to do now. I kind of want dessert, but since the main chef wasn't here at the restaurant, I couldn't I couldn't get many things on the menu. Like I couldn't get the dessert I wanted, the lemon delight, or all the main courses because he doesn't come back until 7 p.m. So I'm guessing it was like. That was super easy. And these flowers are so pretty. I think I'm actually about to check out for the day because I do have um, some things I need to do, like work I need to do. So I think I'm about to check out now, but yeah, I don't know what I want to do right now, but I will update you guys if anything else happens. Right now, I'm just walking and Oh, Ciao. hi, Ciao. I'm from Sorrento. From where? From, from here. 